Do you guys remember old Concavenator? How we'd be playing on Pandora, swimming to the bottom of the lakes, looking for the big prize. And if you're OG, you know what that big prize was. It was one of those massive fish. The fish that was bigger than you. You could eat it in one second and it'd fill your hunger all the way up. And I hate to say it, but Swimming Concavenator is dead. Now we have this kick and we do a bunch of bleed or whatever. I don't really know. Let's just make a build. I personally think the plus 5% bleed damage is the best subspecies. If you're in a group with three or less Concavenators, go for fresh blood. But if you're in a pack with four or more, go for all for one. Equip balanced claws. Surprisingly, our turning isn't great, so we need that extra turning radius. Equip scabbing blood. The other hides are pretty useless, and it also means if you get hit by your teammates, it's not as big of a deal. Now for this kick. It really hurts not equipping dive, but this kick is what makes Concavenator strong at the moment, so just equip it. Now equip tail attack. To be honest, this is a pretty useless ability, but the alternative is paddle tail, and that is completely pointless. This is what the final build should look like. And if you're like me and you're not really ready to let go of water conk, here's a build for you. I'm going to be putting some tips at the end of the video. So if you want to get better at conk, keep watching. Let's start with a pack hunt. Remember that me and these other conks don't have comms. Like we can't hear each other, we can't coordinate anything. The occasional message in group chat is the most communication we have. Right now what I'm trying to do is just feel out this Giga. I want to know what kind of abilities he has on and I also want to know how easily he'll throw them out. The first thing I notice about this Giga is he's constantly biting. Even if they don't land he's biting over and over and even though there's a one second cooldown on the bites that one second cooldown still opens up a window for us to land a kick. Now conks may be good, but if you go in and get stuck like this, you're going to get punished. That bite did half my health, all because I got stuck. I've never claimed to be good at concavenator. I do another bad kick and I get punished once again. To save you the effort of reading the chat that just popped up, all we're saying is to play more safe, bleed out and heal up. So what I do is I let my teammates heal and I take aggro. I get him onto me, try and bait him into chasing me a little bit, and my teammates are able to sit down or even sleep a little bit further away. After about 40 seconds of healing, the Giga does a full 180 and charges directly at my sleeping teammate. A very close call, but it means I'm able to now sleep. We have him surrounded. I'm not sure how well you guys know Giga's scarring patterns, but right now he's actually on death scars. You can see it a lot more now that I've just kicked. I go in and get some weird freeze bug or whatever, but I'm, I'm able to wiggle out. But my teammate isn't as lucky. He goes in for an attack and gets smacked straight in the face with a bulldoze. He drops dead, but because we're not playing with a body down rule, we're able to continue this fight. I'm able to go in and finish off the Giga very easily. You can see how low he was and that it was only two bites away when my teammate died. Now let's analyse this 1v1. Before we start, I want to say Conk is really bad at 1v1s. It has kind of bad turning, and paired with the kick ability, those two things don't go well together. It's hard to create an opening and often results in you getting hit. My strat is to just keep the tenor running. I apply the occasional bleed and do some bites, but overall I just want it to be running with the bleed. I actually get quite lucky here. I go in for a kick and it gets me stuck right on his face. I'm able to face tank him for about 3 seconds and with that he's on death scars. A Dynon decides he wants to third party, which honestly is fine, he's not using the right build so it does practically no damage. I'm able to finish off the Tenno and then I get swarmed by dragons. I mean, I've, I've got no idea what's going on at this point, so I'm just going to end the clip here. Now for my tips. As you can see, there's a list, but I'm also going to explain them using a clip. 
I'm being chased by something small, so I stop in my place and do a kick. It runs right into the back of my legs and gets hit by it. As you can see, water is still pretty usable. You can swim relatively fast, you just can't regain stam or dive. And just so you know I'm not using some aquatic ability, there's the build. Now baiting is a pretty simple strat. My teammate pretends to go in behind the Rex, the Rex turns to look at him and bites, and I'm able to land a free hit. Kick has a pretty big hitbox. Right here you see me bait this concave nature in by showing him my back. He thinks he's going to start a tail ride and I'm able to kick and just kill him. Hello end screen watcher. I see you looking at some more videos to watch, but why don't you take a glance at the subscribe button? It will really help me out and it's completely free. Goodbye.